Hello friends, welcome to my channel AR Creation. Today we will learn and explore something new. <coughs> so hello friends, so today we are going to solve another Python question. So here is the Python question that came in Cognizant Jensing Elevate role for Cognizant company. So let's read the question. So given a set of numbers, one can arrange this number in any order, but must pay a penalty equal to the sum of the absolute difference. But must pay penalty equal to the sum of the absolute difference, absolute difference between adjacent numbers. So we have uh, provided here uh, the numbers in array. So so I ha I have read this much of uh, description. So let's go to the uh, go to the input output so that we can understand this particular problem more easily. So here input one says three, then there is three uh, number is passed on to the program. It means we have to pass an array or a list of a numbers. So we can arrange. Uh, that number can be in any order when th that number is passed on to the program it can be of any uh, number any order it can be of any order so here three is showing that how much numbers we want to pass this is showing uh, the uh, unordered arranged number and there is output two so right now we don't know what the output two means here so now uh, after reading this line that we are able to understand that we have numbers which in which is not in specific orders but we have to pay a penalty equal to the sum of the absolute difference between adjacent numbers so we adjacent number ka uh, sum ki penalty deni hai. We have to give uh, the penalty of the sum of the adjacent number. Return the minimum penalty that must be paid. So input specification. Input 1 is going to be length of an integer array of a number. So input 1 is length. So this is showing the length of an integer array of number, which can be of uh, greater than 2 and less than 1000. Input 2. So we are talking about this. Input 2 is integer array. Okay, the input 2 is integer array. The, and output specification is the return the minimum penalty. So, uh, so to understand this, so let's uh, take the first example. So, three is showing, three is showing that there are three numbers. Those three numbers are one, two, and three. That can, the, uh, these uh, three numbers are let's take in the same order the way question pass on this. So basically, in Python we are call array as a list. So we have a list of one, three, two. Okay, it can be of any uh, order. So we have to return what we need to return. We have to return the sum of the sum. We have to return the sum of the absolute difference. Okay, remember this line. This line most important line of this question. The sum of the absolute difference between adjacent number. So adjacent number that difference. We have to calculate the sum of the difference of the adjacent number. So if if I consider this, this first for first arrangement. Suppose the first arrangement is this one minus three. I have to calculate plus there is plus 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 three minus two. Okay, so the question is asking us to calculate that uh, the uh, sum of the difference of the adjacent number. So I am calculating the difference of first two number, difference of second uh, and third number, and then I'm adding those numbers. So what will be the value become? So three minus one is two. And 3 minus 2 is 1. So total value become 3. But here another line is mentioned. Return the minimum penalty that must be paid. This line is also very important. It means we have to return the minimum value that can be possible. When we uh, arrange this number in multiple formats and after ca uh, calculating the adjacent value, the value uh, will be differ for different cases. Suppose for 1, 3, 2, uh, the value become this. Let's take another case. If the uh, number is arranged in this manner, let's take it. 2 comma 3 comma 1 okay then what will the value become so in this case value become let's value become uh, so 2 minus 3 1 3 minus 2 uh, 3 minus 1 it becomes 2 it again become 3 let's take another case let's take this case 1 2 3 1 comma 2 comma 3 what will be the value become value become 2 minus 1 1 and 3 minus 2 1 so 1 plus 1, how much is the value become? It become 2. Okay, so now you can see that in this particular case, when we are subtracting the adjacent value and then we are uh, sum those uh, when and then we are making uh, some of those values, then the value become 2. Now you can see that 2 is less than 3. So for 1, 2, 3 case, for 1, 2, 3 case, we have to return 2 instead of 3 because 2 is the minimum value. Okay. 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 Now if I take another case where a number is arranged in this format. 
3, 1, 2. This case is also is going to give us 3. You can calculate it. I can, I can uh, tell 3 minus 1, 2. Okay, 1 minus 2, 1. So 2 plus 1 equal to 3. So you are able to see that when I am subtracting the adjacent value and then I'm uh, doing this sum, then it's giving, uh, giving us 3. Now the last arrangement which is possible here is uh, 1, comma, 1, 2, and 3. This is the last arrangement that is possible. For this particular arrangement, the sum of the, uh, uh, the sum of the adjacent, uh, sum of the absolute difference between the adjacent number is 2 in this particular case, 1, 2, 3. You can see that 1 minus 2, 1, 2 minus 3, 1, and 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So 1, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So when I, when I am arranging 1, 3, 2 in this particular format, then there is one pattern I am able to get it. The pattern is if I am arranging the numbers in descending order, uh, uh, this is uh, this is not a descending order. If I am arranging the number in descending order, where I am getting to here, this is ascending order. Okay. If I am arranging the number in ascending order, still I am getting the least uh, return the minimum. Uh, then in that particular case, I am returning the minimum penalty. Okay. If I am arranging the number in descending order, let's do it in descending order. Three, two, one. So in descending order, three minus two is equal to 1 and 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 and 1 plus 1 become become 2. So in ascending order and in descending order, I am getting least penalty and this least penalty is the actual answer. So are you getting it? What I'm trying to say is number can be arranged in multiple ways, but our answer is going to be extract when, uh, when we are arranging those number in, in a sorted manner. If we uh, in sorted manner, we can do it in two ways. We can sort that particular number in uh, ascending order or we can sort in, in descending order. So I hope you are able to understand uh, what this question want from us. And now we are going to shift to the coding part of this particular question. So if you face any uh, difficulty in regarding uh, understanding the description of this question, you can comment below this video. There is a telegram link I am posting below this video. You can join the telegram link. On the telegram link, you can just uh, you can just type a text. I can reply it if you are facing any, any difficulty regarding any question of uh, any question uh, you learned from this AR creation. YouTube channel. Okay, fine. So let's go to the ideally so that we can go for this particular problem. Problem is not that much complicated, but it require a sort of simple logic. If you if you able to uh, grab that particular logic, then you are able to code it pretty easily. Open. Okay, fine. Okay, let's open this file. Let's move this. So one thing uh, we need to do first of all, first of all, we need to Take input x is equal to int input. This is the first task. Okay. Okay. So now second task is so second task is we need to create list. So most people don't know how to create list when input is passed on in this manner. Okay, fine. Let's show it. Most people are unable to make list when input are passed in this manner. When uh, the uh, when the values of array are passed in a straight manner, then they are facing uh, issue. Literally, they are facing issue how to tackle. With this input so i'm telling you how to do it so now i will use input function for this purpose and i will uh, use split function and in split function i will pass space why i am passing space this is the question arise here so to understand this question we have to go to the input again so i'm passing space here is because the integer value are separated on the basis of space so using split function a list is created on the basis of space so on the basis of space on the basis of the space between the integer, they will consider the value uh, value uh, differently and put those value on an in on a different index in a list. So you can see it if I run this piece of code and let's let's print y, print y. I will pass on the value y. So one thing more, split function create you a uh, will going to create you a list, but the values inside the list is going to be in string. So you have to remember that it is a very important thing. You have to remember that. So now if I give uh, Three integer values should be in the array or a list, which is one, three, and two. And when I enter it, a list is created in which string value is passed, in which all value will be considered in a string format, and each value uh, will be considered to be put in a, in a index which is separated by uh, this space. Okay, one, three, two will be considered as uh, 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 unique individual in the list. Okay, fine. So now, next up we need to do is sorting. So now we need to do sort. 
So how we need to do store? Let's create a variable j, which is going to uh, store a sorted value. Now um, I will do sorted function here. Sorted, and I will put y into it. Okay. Now if I print j, so now see window f five. Enter uh, three, one, three, two. So I'm intentionally putting three. Uh, uh, before uh, uh, before two because now I'm going to check is it going to print a, a sorted array or list or not. So now you can see it a sorted list is going to be print because we already sorted this particular list using sorted function. So now one two three is in sorted manner. Now the next part. Now list is sorted. So now what we need to do. So technically we need to we have one two three actually we have one two and three. So we need to subtract this value from this value and after that. The the uh, look two two minus uh, one is equal to one, okay one, and store this value into some variable so that we can add this particular uh, value which is uh, subtraction of uh, which is actually the subtraction of two adjacent value. So I will give create a sum variable here. Sum is equal to zero. Okay fine. So how the piece of code is going to work? I will explain now. So one minus two is one. So first. In first iteration, one is going to be stored in sum because two minus one is one. For second iteration, two minus three, which is again one, then another one is going to be added in sum. Okay, using this, the total value of the sum become two, and at the end we will print two. This is how the iteration is going to be work. So now I'm uh, using for loop to do this particular sort of task for i in range. So remember that I need to iterate the loop. For two times for three, okay. I need to iterate the loop two times for three because I want to uh, subtract three numbers. So total subtraction is if if I have three numbers, so total subtraction need to be done is two, which is first two in one iteration, then uh, second and third number in second iteration. So if I have a list uh, which is of length three, so I need to do iteration for two times. So total times for loop uh, for loop will run. It will run. Len, len of list, which is list size minus one. Are you getting it? If list size is three, it means iteration should be go till two. Okay, okay. If list size is four, so the iteration go till three times. Okay, fine. Now, now what we need to do? So now I'm going to perform. Subtraction here. Subtraction is going to be uh, performed using indexing. So I'm using J list. So first index J zero, which is going to be considered as J i because uh, loop is going to be start from zero. Then J i minus J i plus one. I plus one. J i minus J i plus one. Okay. So uh, uh, first subtraction is at zero index and one index. After that, when iteration uh, increase. Then second uh, second subtraction is of one and two index. Okay, I think this uh, sort of coding is quite easy if you are able to understand it. It is uh, literally very easy. Now I need to use ABS function. So look, one thing I need to clear it right now. If you are subtracting, look, if you are subtracting one from minus three, it is not going to provide you two. It is going to provide you minus two. But there is a function which can give you a positive number. No matter there is a negative sign uh, uh, is. A negative sign present in the result. It will going to give you into in a positive manner. So if I put abs function in front of uh, bracket one minus three, then it is not going to provide minus two. It is going to provide two. Okay. So this task is going to be performed here. So I'm going to use abs function. This in on ji and abs function on ji plus one. Okay. Abs function on ji plus one. Still, this program is not going to give us output. Why? The thing is, you are Performing a mathematical operation on a on a values which is present on J, but uh, you remember that J consists string value. It means one is present in a string is of a string type. So what we need to do so that we can perform mathematical operation called sub subtraction. So I have to put int. We have to do type casting here also. We have to do ABS function also on J. We have to do uh, type casting also. So now I'm going to do type casting on uh, this function. So I think ABS function should be performed in this manner. I I did a little bit uh, in tone this. Okay, ABS on this. So ABS will be performed on whole task. Int will be uh, type casting is performed on JI 
and j i plus one. Okay, so that it converted into integer, and after that sub subtraction is possible. So I have to put here a bracket so that the bracket is complete. Now the bracket is complete. We have completed most of our task. Now the testing time. Sum. Actually, I have to print sum. Print sum. Okay, fine. So if I run this piece of code, I think our code is complete. If I do window f5, okay, now now fine. So the inputs are I have to pass three, which is size of the array or list, whatever you say. So in in Python, we are don't call array, we call list. So in future, I will call it array as a list. I will not call it array because I think calling list is a more technical term in Python. One, three, and two. So now it is printing one, three, two. Why? The answer should be two. So it means we have made a mistake. We have to make it right. So now here, here is the mistake. We are we are not incrementing in sum. So in iteration, the sum is getting equal to one. In second iteration, again sum is uh, getting equal to one. But we need to add those one with each other. Okay, that's why we are not getting the answer. In first iteration, sum become one. In second iteration, this sum become one in previous iteration. So one plus new one value, new one which is going to get from this. And the actual, uh, then the final output become sum is equal to two. So now if I run this, window f5, enter. Uh, let uh, remove the last execution. Okay, window f5, one size of the list three, and the value in the list one two three. Now if I enter, so now you are getting value two. So it means the uh, it means you can see it. It means returning the minimum penalty that must be paid. So the minimum penalty we need to pay is two. Okay, in this particular example. So let's test this particular example so that we are going to get a result output as eight. So this number can be arranged in multiple ways. So but we if we want to uh, return the minimum penalty, one thing we need to do sort the number. So we are going to sort the number in ascending order. Ascending order after that we will uh, get a minimum penalty which is eight. So now four one six minus two four. Let's remove the last execution. Window five, four, one, six, minus two, and four. So now output is eight. You can match it. Okay, you can match it. We are getting right output. Okay, four, one, six, minus two, four, four, one, six, minus two, four. So we are getting eight. Okay, we are getting eight. So I think our code is complete. It is not tricky code. I will not say that. But it requires a sense of logic if you are going to solve this this particular kind of problem, and this particular kind of problem is not of uh, ten number or five number. It is uh, of twenty five number or uh, thirty number uh, question uh, when we are analyzing it on the basis of uh, IT test patterns. Okay, in coding uh, uh, coding question, if there are uh, four question, I think this uh, this difficulty level question will be come come on three or fourth number. So it require time. It require a uh, problem uh, solving uh, uh, way of analyzing then you are able to solve this particular question so i think we will uh, we will uh, end this session here if you really like my content so please subscribe it or share it and also if you want to connect with me so we can we have a telegram uh, channel you can get the link of that particular telegram channel below this video so thank you thank you for watching please subscribe share and like my videos also hit the bell icon for new updates from ar creation